G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do um, a five puddle pour today, just to practice on this card, because I want to do a big canvas in the next day or two when I can. Um, so I'm just going to practice on this little one. My other one is a, a metre square, but I'm just going to try on this one. Uh, base is Floetrol, two parts Floetrol to one part paint, and I'm using my Global Impastos. So I've got white, turquoise, the copper is mixed one to one, black and gold mixed one to one. Your, cop your metallics you always have to have thicker than your other paints. Right, so I'm going to have white, turquoise and black in all of them and then in a couple I'm just going to have um, gold or turquoise. So I put a bit of white in the bottom of all of them. So on my square canvas I'm going to obviously have one in the middle and then one pour in each corner because this is a rectangle it's not really going to work all that well but I'm mainly just testing my consistencies with this and just see how these colors will go together so that's why I'm doing this no silicone today So in two of them I'm going to put copper actually what I'm going to do is with my big one I'm going to mix copper and gold together to make like a rose gold so I'll just put a little bit of copper in that one and then some gold on top and make a rose gold I'm not quite sure how much paint I'm going to need for this little experiment should be enough and then some black oops making a mess so the black will be on the outside of my rings and then if I need some extra coverage um, I can do black on the corners quite thick as you can see it's just sort of sitting there in a blob just cover the corners once I pour as I said I should have black on the outside of all my rings so I think that'll look nice having black corners as well and then the centers should be a bit lighter with the white. That's the plan anyway, and if it works well, then I'll do a, a big one. Okay, two coppers on that side. And I'll start with my nose <coughs> going in the middle. The two of us will be for the Okay, so here we go. Sorry about that, builders. I did tell them I was videoing, but you had to come to the door anyway. Round we go. Quite a thick mix. Here comes the white. the drips. Now I'll put copper in this corner and if this doesn't work very well I might have to change it to a three to one mix as I said this is quite thick two to one 
but we'll see how it goes. I find if I make it too thin, I lose my lines. You know, your, your rings, you lose them if it's too thin. It goes all distorted and zigzagged. So that's why I've gone for a thicker mix today. Okay. And the other copper can come over here. I don't think I'm quite centered, but anyway. Round we go. Getting some cells popping up already there. And gold in this corner. Because I'm not pouring from a spout here, I'm pouring from a side of a cup. I'm not really getting circles as such because the area that the paint's coming out of is quite wide. If I lift it up and pour from higher, get a thinner stream and more of a, a ring. Lots of cells popping up in that one as well. I should actually say that I always, when I do ring pours, I always spray the inside of my cup with some silicone spray. Um, it, it just helps to clean those cups out. See, there's hardly anything left in there. Don't want to waste your paint, especially on such a little pour. So whether that's to do with the tiny little bit of silicone that's in that cup, or whether it's just the paints reacting, I don't know. Right, last one. Gold. I need to sort of push it over a little bit, that middle one. It's kind of gone to the side a bit. Loving these colours together. it okay now I've got all these left for my big one for later on although it won't be enough I will have to make more paint being a meter square it's a big canvas all right now I'm just going to torch my blowtorch just to get any bubbles out I don't want it to flow thinly because the more you heat it obviously it's going to thin out and I don't want the paint to be too thin. I've kept it at a two to one mix because I want to keep the shape. So if you heat it too much it'll melt and it'll run all over the place. Now paint's already running over this side so I'm going to go that way first. I have to hang on to this. This is a 30 centimeter by 40 centimeter card. Now I don't expect these to stay in their circles. I don't mind if they mix into each other, I just want a nice, interesting pattern happening. Go down to this corner first. Probably shouldn't have put that black paint there because it's catching, making the paint stick. It's another reason I don't usually put down, a, I don't put a base coat, coat down. Um, I know a lot of people do. Um, I personally, prefer not to. I like the paint to flow more easily than catch on the paint underneath. Especially if your paint's underneath is a little bit thicker, you run into problems. Right, back to the centre. And I'll go that way. Hang on to it here so I don't lose it. Loving these colours. And I like the black corner too. It's really pretty against that copper there. So 
I don't mind a bit of black staying in the corner. I'm okay with that. Over the side, back again. Wow, look at that copper. It just pops against the black. So beautiful. Now, down towards you. Actually, you know what I'll do is I'm just going to put a little bit of black here. Not too thick. Hopefully it'll just go over. If you do do a base coat, make it really thin. Don't make it thick so that your paint gets your top paint gets stuck on it. Sorry about that. My phone was ringing. <laughs> It's not working for me today. Builders knocking at the door, dogs barking, phones ringing. Hopefully this will work. It's just one of those days. I've got a day off from work today, so I thought I'll paint. There we go, over the edge, back again. Turn it around. Wow, loving it. A little bit of black in there. And another distraction, puppy crying. I've got a puppies at the moment. My girl had puppies, so puppies are crying, wanting to come out of their playpen. A bit more black here. So looking forward to doing a big one of these now. Just loving this. Hopefully I'll get a chance this afternoon once my builders go. I'm building a studio under the house. So I can paint as much as I like. All right, off we go with the last section. See how this is getting stuck on the black paint? So, I think next time I'll make up some black, but I'll have it nice and thin to use as, as a fill-in. Last little corner over there. We're done. Woohoo! Beautiful. Well, I think it's beautiful anyway. Love the copper. Might have to do more copper. This one's kind of lost its metallic. This one's got a little bit of gold. And that's probably because I wasn't quite sure how much paint to use. And I've probably used a little bit too much paint. So the gold's been pushed to the side because I haven't needed to tilt as much. Um, if I tilted more, you know, the gold would spread more. But um, it's, it's really hard to judge when you're doing this sort of thing. But look, I'm still really happy with it. I love what's going on here. These little cells. Um, on your sides where you've tilted more, you will get more cell action because as the paint rubs into the other paint, um, it creates cells. So on your sides where you've tilted, the paint's moved more, you'll get more cells. In the middle where you haven't really moved very much, you're not going to get as much action. Right, I'm going to leave it like that and just give it one last torch. So in my next one, I think I'll use more copper. I was debating whether to just, just do copper or just gold and then I ended up thinking oh, I'll do both, gold and copper, just for some interest. So I'm glad I did. Um, it gives a little bit more interest having more than one colour. What do you think? I love it. 
can't often have to say that. I can't often say that about a painting of mine, but I do love it. Right, I'll take you in for a close up. take the camera off the tripod and then I can show you each ring lost a lot of the metallics in that one this one's got the gold in it lots of cell action happening there and that one's got some copper in it. This one down here is my favourite. Look at all that copper. Interesting cells. All right. That's it. See you next time. Bye for now.